By the way, before I proceed, I need you guys to understand this is the last day that you could potentially win $100, 100 simoleons, and this is the last day that I'm giving away my prize. But we're going to talk about this Esquire uh, contest. If you know somebody who knows somebody, I need you by the end of, by the end of DJ. Not sure if I'm not correct me if I'm wrong, uh, uh, Mo. Come in, say what's up. You get a chance at $100. All you did was be entertained here. The docile tones of H Rap B, the Grand Burglarizer, and then you can listen to the dope music of DJ Knox. Now, we're going to give away this $100, and me personally, I'm giving away a million dollars. And $1 per year for a million year increments. Let's not get carried away. I don't have no damn million dollars. But over the next million years, I'll give you a dollar. That's all I'm saying. One of, one of us going to cope in that Instagram. But please support the network www.xqualaffiliates.com backslash contest. Support the movement. We know. But back to Doug Williams. Doug Williams did his damn thing, man. But man, he picked up the homie from uh, uh, Love from uh, uh, the University of Stanford. He picked up he picked up Geist last year. He picked up one of Dwayne Haskins wide receivers, which was pretty much a track team from the Ohio State University. Shout out to Chief Rock and the people who support the Ohio State University. This shows you that they're trying to make my man Dwayne Haskins as comfortable as humanly possible. And when you make people as comfortable as possible, again, that's creating continuity. Continuity is king. When you have a continuity, you have a, a continuity situation, you, in turn, have talent, continuity, a good game plan, and you will potentially win a lot of football games. Doug Williams, big ups to you. I'm supporting you. Mad love to Doug Williams. Yeah, even though I've been slamming this dude, I'm not a fan. He's ruining my team, and I think he ultimately sucks. But I got to give a big ups to Mike Mayock and one Chucky Gruden. It kills me to say it, but the Oakland Raiders, the team that I have hitched my wagon to for the last 40 years, had a pretty good draft. They grabbed defensive ball in. Pharrell out of uh, Clemson, running back uh, Jacobs out of uh, out of Alabama and Mississippi State safety Jonathan Abram at the beginning of the draft. This is some things that they needed. I'm gonna go out on the limb. I'm dead. Anybody Haskins not starting. Here go this guy. Uh, uh, Big Illinois comes in and disrupts my show. What's up? One of the bench the bench warmers. I didn't need you to say that. You could have just said hi before you come in and start being critical. You never know who's gonna start. How you think? home for. But that's my man, uh, uh, one of the original bench warmers, my man Big Illinois in building. Now, but uh, I got to give it up to uh, this dude, Chucky, man. Chucky is, uh, he did, he, look, they did a good job. They went in the off season. Uh, uh, they got the dude uh, from uh, 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 Trayvon Coney, from uh, uh, Notre Dame as a free agent, solid linebacker. They got a uh, wide receiver from Delaware, Vince Papar. They uh, they got Isaiah Johnson out of Houston. I watched them a couple of times while watching Ed Oliver. They got the wide, wide receiver, Hunter Renfro. He, he going to be one of those underneath guys, but I'm just telling you. And then they got the homie. Me and Ben from BS3 spoke about this earlier. They got the homie. Uh, uh, Quentin Bell from Prayer View A and M HBCUs are in the building. Much love to you, Oakland Raiders. It looks like John Gruden may have made a mistake and done everything right. Uh, this guy, Mr. Husband, has chimed in again. He's really starting to get on my nerves. Okay, Mr. Husband, are you talking to Big L? Sorry about that, Mr. Husband. I didn't mean to crack on you like that. Uh, told you the Raiders were surprise team for next season. I guess I'm going to have to bow down, and it is a possibility that for the very first time in the history of the earth, people are more might be right. But you got to give it up to them, man. They did a lot of good things. Uh, did a lot of good things this offseason. Just don't blow it, Chucky, you goofball. Raider for life in the building, much love. Yeah, I was giving the team big ups. Raider for life. We don't do it. We don't make it. Unless John Gruden blow it with his gun behind He's up east this time fully. We got ready for life in the building. He's part of Raider Nation. The citizens are in the fact. 
Chicago and Raider Nation, they're right next to each other. People think it's in Oakland. Oakland is really a suburb right outside of uh, Chicago. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go over a couple of these draft classes. Uh, and you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that a little later. I'll probably do that this weekend. What I'm going to do is talk about some of these notable players that may be relieved from their duties this week. Now, if you're a team who needs a running back, I do believe due to the fact that they drafted, what well, they signed T.J. Yeldon and Frank Gore, who's three or 400 days older than baseball. Frank Gore and the game, Mr. Indestructible. And then they drafted Devin Singletary. I do believe that the Buffalo Bills, rooted for by my main man, Big Buff, a uh, 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 rough buff, I do believe that they're going to let uh, Shady McCoy loose. So if you got a team that is looking for a running back, I do believe because he makes so much money, I do believe Shady McCoy is out there for the picky, out there for the taking. If you're paying attention, uh, Green Bay Packers, I do believe you should be looking up Shady McCoy if he get cut. I got my man Sidney Jackson in the building. That's love. The ladies not winning. Yeah, whatever that after uh, that. Talk to me next time your team does something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your team. Uh, do you even have a team? Oh, you, you're a Bear fan. <laughs> the team with all the great quarterbacks over the last 55 years. You know, Big L, I didn't want to do this to you, but... Uh, Sit your ass down! Sit your ass down! Bear down. Why about that? Bear, what, a, what a cool slogan. Bear down. Really? Really? Really, but the next guy, uh, uh, Ken Dixon, man, the Ravens running back. He was very, he's a very productive player. Not the running back, man, but when you look around the situation, you see Ken Dixon. They sign Mark Ingram. They uh get a uh, uh Justice Hill out of Oklahoma State. So Ken Dixon, again, if your team needs a running back, it's a good chance that Ken Dixon out there for you, man. Another dude who out there, if you need some defense, pick up the homie, uh, uh. Darren Lee from the Jets, man. They signed Avery Williamson. They signed C.J. Mosley. That dude about to be packing. The reason I'm even going over this stuff is this, y'all. This is the crazy part. This shows you stop asking players to take a pay cut. You see what I'm saying? This that nonsense. Everybody be, oh, man, hey, shot it's about the rings. It's about the rings. But you know what? This is why it ain't about the rings. Because these are very good back football players. They are very effective football players and instead uh, instead they create this fictitious thing that they like to call a salary cap how is it a salary cap there's no salary cap in any other uh realm of entertainment you can go over the budget oh it's because of small markets but it's profit y'all got profit sharing so how is it a such thing as a small market whether you're getting big money whether you're getting little money everybody getting the same money so how are you telling me this Nobody wants to invest in scout. This is the bottom line. Point blank, period. They don't want to invest in scout, so they keep selling you. This is why I call it hope traffic. Hope trafficking. This is why I call it that. Because they are selling you hope. You hoping that they did resales. You hoping that they did all this uh, uh, background information, and they haven't. They have not done that. And they selling you a dream. And they screwing these players at every chance. This dude is walking around limping. You want to get insurance after you retire for five years. It's just, it's just a circle jerk at the end of the day. So when you saying, oh, man, he could do this to get a ring. What about these dudes who are about to get fired and ain't nobody going to be talking about? Like the homie Trayvon Austin. Yeah, he's been hurt frequently lately. I can't really take up for Trayvon because he has been hurt. But could that be the medical staff? When I had Scoop Jackson on the show... He mentioned to me that the Chicago Bulls basketball team has the worst medical staff in the NFL, I mean NBA. So that's the, according to him, it is rumored around the National Basketball Association. Uh, 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 yeah, it's a hope trafficking uh, rated for life. It's like drug trafficking. They selling hope. But uh, uh, he said that Lou Dean. Uh, uh, Joaquin Noah and Derrick Rose were ruined by the medical staff that is run in the down the street from my house at the United Center and right next door to that their medical facility. They are being ruined. Now they got a new building there. These may be new people but 
Lou Dean, Derrick Rose, and Joaquin North's careers are damaged already. They're not living up to the peak of their uh, abilities. So when you hear that type of thing, you have to wonder, what the hell's going on? And this is why you should never, ever, under any circumstances, ask a player to take a pay cut. Because when they want to get rid of you, your ass is gone. When they want to look at you and say, hey, we can find somebody else to do what you do for less money, then they just tell you to sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. And then it's over. So please, I beg of you, please, please, James Brown, please stop asking these players to take less money for a ring that they may not win. Now, if you're going to guarantee somebody, that, oh, well, if you're the coach here and you're the player there, nah, man, get the bread because you don't have but a small period of time to earn as an athlete. You don't. So why would you ask somebody who had a short window of opportunity to take less during that small window? That's disrespectful to them, and it's and I believe it's foolish of you to even say that. That's that's wrong, man. You wouldn't take less money to go work someplace that was breaking your back. So why don't ask anybody else to do that, man? Only do what you would do. Ask somebody to do no more than what you would do. And if you are a forgive me if I'm sounding disrespectful, but if you would bust your ass and give away the opportunity for three or four million dollars for seventy five thousand dollar ring, then you might just not be the smartest guy in the world. I'm just saying. Back to this NFL thing. Mr. Jonathan Elway picked Drew Locke. Now, he made a statement. And see, this is the part about the media that I don't like. Well, it's a lot of stuff in the media I don't like. But this is the these are one of the things that I don't like. And that's because uh uh John Elway said, I think he was I think he was speaking metaphorically. He made the statement, Joe Flacco is uh kind of like the Brett Favre. They're gonna use the Joe Flacco thing like they did the Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers thing. I don't think he was comparing this dude to Aaron Rodgers and man, Brett Favre and ability. I think he was saying older, widely veteran, and we're gonna coach up this young dude. But you got people like the guys on Fox and the guys on ESPN and other people who take it verbatim, but they want you to think laterally when they speak. See, it's kind of stupid, and this is the problem. This is why I keep telling people, stop tuning in to the programming and listen to opinions being disseminated to you, and then you have the ability to uh, make up your mind without the influence of others. That's why you need to tune in to Esquire Radio. I ain't trying to, I'm not telling you I'm right. I'm telling you, uh, Allow me to present the facts to you. Allow them to present the facts to you. Then meet somewhere in the middle. Either I'm stupid or they stupid or all us stupid. And you're going to come up with your own information. That's all I'm saying. It's just, that's, it is what it is. Point blank, period. But back to that. I ain't, I ain't really mad at him for taking this dude, Drew Locke, though, man. If you're going to sit him on the bench behind Joe Fluco, they got a big time running back who they signed, who they going to have to pay next year. And, uh... It looks like the Denver Donkeys are not going to be able to beat the Raiders this year, but they're going to be okay. Now, that's, that's it. That's all. Now, another team that did very well is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know if there's any Pittsburgh Steelers fans outside of my brother Big Key. Shout out to my brother Big Key. Uh, new is in the building. But the Pittsburgh Steelers drafted this kid, Bush, out of the University of Michigan. Now, this dude is a legitimate student. He was a legitimate steal, and because uh, uh, he because he was a steal, the Pittsburgh Steelers might be back in style. Now, a lot of people count the Pittsburgh Steelers out due to the debacle of the Antonio Brown handling and the debacle that we know is Le'Veon Bell not paying him. I have faith in the Pittsburgh Steelers because I like one Mike Tomlin. Mike T is one hell of a coach. Let me say that again. Mike T is one hell of a coach. And when you have Mike Tomlin there, he's a defensive wizard. People don't give him credit for it. If you don't know, look up, go to uh, football uh, footballreference.com and see how high the defense actually ranks. The problem is you have the turnover prone quarterback and you don't, and you have mad talent there. When you have mad talent being recruited on a regular basis, Pittsburgh still is not going to fall off. They're yeah, never going to fall off, so please stop waiting. They're they not going to fall off a skateboard. Don't wait for it. So big ups to the Pittsburgh Steelers for getting Bush and replacing, getting a couple of cornerbacks out of Michigan State. It looked like the Pittsburgh Steelers did a damn good job. Like that. 
Thank God, we can't That's a give it up to him. Gotta give it up.